Hey everyone. Um, so a big part of my frustration when I was still learning how to make games in Unity was that a lot of tutorials would seem to cover really basic stuff like here's how you make a button or here's how you make a character move. But it was really a hard jump for me how to go from that to making like actually a fully fledged game. So as far as I'm concerned, like the best way to learn how to make games is to look at games that you already have, like great games, like game, games that you love. And so I want to teach you how to use two pieces of software today. The first one is called Asset Studio, and the second one is called ILSpy, uh, which will let you like peer under the hood and maybe get like uh, get some better perspective as to how some real games are actually made. Um, so first things first, like uh, uh, this this tutorial mainly works for Unity, but it does work for any sort of arbitrary EXE as well. It just works very nicely with Unity. So you can just go to this list, see which games are made in Unity, and then just go to uh, your, your your Steam. Uh, and actually look at, uh, like here, you can come in, go to properties, and then you browse local files. Uh, and this will show you all the code and data that you need for the rest of uh, this tutorial, like so both the assets and the code. So how does this work exactly? So uh, the first piece of software we're gonna be using is called ILSpy. So ILSpy is a code decompiler, so it's gonna take like a compiled, uh, a compiled Unity project and then it show you the C-sharp code for it. So to using it is really, really easy. Like you, you don't need to actually build it or do anything like that. You just go to here to this releases tab, uh, you download it, uh, and then you can, and, and here you download the zip file, like, sorry, the, the binary, uh, and then you can just like use it. So let me just show it to you what it looks like when you open it up. So this is ILSpy. And so all I've done is I go to file and then I go to open. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the we're gonna to go to the directory where the data for Automata Chef is stored. Uh, so you'll notice here there's a bunch. So so you want to go to like the Steam apps common Automata Chef, and then you want to go to this folder called Managed. Uh, so so you'll also get this directory if you just right click and browse local files in Steam. So you'll notice there's a there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff with regards to the Unity engine, and maybe in another tutorial I can go over how Unity. So this will show you how Unity actually implements some of the stuff under the hood. FYI, Unity is not an open source engine, so this is invaluable uh, knowledge. But if you just want to get specific as to how the game works, like you want to just double click on assembly uh, C sharp and DLL, and once you open it up, you'll get uh, you'll get you'll see this to the left here. And so this will show you everything. Like you'll see here, for example, like Automata Chef is a is a logistics game in a kitchen. And so you'll see, for example, like okay, well, how do they implement bacteria? Well, it's a scriptable object; it can be destroyed by grilling, etc. Uh, there's blueprints like there's cable which has which goes from one kitchen part to another it has a mesh it has a width it has a material uh, so already you can see as opposed to sort of trying to guess how people implement these things like you can actually get a pretty good idea of how some of this stuff works so when you're making your own game you can make it really good and, and make games inspired off of your favorite games but that's not all like the like the really sick thing about this is that uh, you, like you can also use this as a way to mod games. So if you go here, uh, assembly C sharp, and you right click save code and save it to a local directory. Uh, so you go here like desktop, for example. So you, as you can see, I've already done this. This takes a few minutes, but like if you go here, uh, we can then later just open up like the project in uh, in Visual Studio. So like let's say we go to Tomato Chef here, and then there's gonna be a C proj somewhere. There it is. And so you can just like open up this. Uh, and so like you can just use this as an educational tool to just kind of look at look at how the code works and, and use it to inspire you to make your own Unity code. Or you can just directly come in here and change the code in, in some way and then and then rebuild it. And then you can basically play a modded version of, 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 uh, of Automata Chef or any, any game that you can think of. Uh, so this is as far as code goes, but like if, if you've followed anything I've done with Unity, like that, that's not really the only thing you should consider. There's also assets. Uh, so similarly here, like I'm going to go to Asset Studio. So Asset Studio is another uh, open source code base. You can just like, again, download the releases here on GitHub. And it helps you extract out any sort of assets associated with the game. So this includes textures, sprites, audio clips, fonts, shaders, uh, textures animators so so really anything and so i'm just going to show you how this works so if uh, after you extract it out you open up asset studio if i click file load folder and then go to the automata so, so then just select the entire folder it's going to take a couple of minutes but then once it extracts the stuff out uh, you're going to see there's a whole bunch of stuff here so because this is kind of hard to parse what i did is i just clicked on export and all assets and then I exported it here to desktop where you can see Automata Chef Assets. It just takes a couple of minutes. 
So again, like once you go here, uh, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like there is like there's flare object. You'll notice like there's the there's meshes, particle systems. So really anything. But the main thing that we're gonna look at is is meshes. So you'll notice, for example, here in the mesh, there's a mesh called like the onion burger. So once you have a mesh like this, you can export it into software like Blender or Unity and change it, add a different texture to it and see how it works. And in fact, I've already done this. Like I've, I've imported this into like a default Unity project here with onion burger. This is also the texture for the onion burger, which gives it the color. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Like so, the, the main thing like we covered today was you can actually look at the code for any Unity game with IL Spy if you go to the Managed folder uh, and clicked on Assembly C Sharp. You can look at any assets if you use Asset Studio, and hopefully this should give you enough context to start making really complicated games as opposed to the really simple kinds of games that people cover in tutorials. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Like my plan is for, for this weekend to go over like a real game that I like with a friend of mine. Uh, on Twitch, so you'll get to see this process live, but this was just sort of a very short intro as to how this all of this works. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please subscribe. It helps me figure out like it helps me know that this was useful to you. Thank you.